Today, we're going to be talking about Replicel, RCH01, what many are referring to as the hair loss cure coming in 2020. But before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you guys like the content, go ahead and give us a like. And if you don't like the content, still give us a like. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, let us know why in the comment section. I'm also going to be including our social media as well as an article I wrote in the description box, so be sure to check it out. All right, let's get started. So what is Replicel? Replicel is a form of cell therapy. So um, what they will be essentially doing is isolating thermal sheath cup cells that are found in the sides and back of the scalp which are not affected by the hormone DHT or are immune to the hormone DHT. Then they will be multiplying these cells and injecting them back into the scalp. So it is thought that these cells will then take over and the hair on your head will no longer be affected by DHT. Essentially curing hair loss as we know it. Now, that's what many are believing and that's what many are saying, but is this true? Let's continue. All right, so in 2017, Phase one of the clinical trials for Replicel were promising, but as you all know, phase one just means that it's slightly better than placebo. If history is any indicator, phase two is when Shishido is going to pull the plug. Uh, back in the 2000s, there was a company called Intercytex, which the Hair Transplant Network visited in 2007 before they went out of business. Intercytex was the hair loss cure around the corner back in those days and uh, back in those days everybody was thinking that cloning was just around the corner and unfortunately it was not now over 10 years later there's no hair loss cure in sight which is what Replicel are claiming to be the issue I see with this is that in order for this to work there needs to be cell multiplication but the other illness that's caused by cell multiplication is cancer. So is there a possibility that you may cure your hair loss and develop cancer? I don't know. But once scientists can cure cancer, then I think there may be a chance for curing hair loss. Unfortunately, I just don't see this happening in our lifetime. Not in 2020, not in 2030, not in 2040. I mean, unfortunately, I just don't think this is going to happen anytime soon, maybe in our children's lifetime or our grandchildren's lifetime. But I'm also going to be creating a thread in the Hair Restoration Network. I hope I'm wrong, but I want you guys to go ahead and register on there and vote if you think that hair loss is going to be cured in 2020. Also, go ahead and comment in the comment section if you think it's going to be cured in 2020. I'm really curious to know why you think that. All right, till next time.